Hello, hello, happy Sunday again. Um, okay, so today this one I think is going to hopefully be quick, short, but I often say that and then I start rambling and wandering off on tangents. So who knows? Um, but here's what I got. It kind of occurred to me this week. Um, most of you know I'm a real estate broker by, that's what I do for a living. Um, and it occurred to me this week that sometimes I'm so focused on looking for joy in those unexpected places that I forget to see it right in front of me. Like it's right there all the time. Now, this is an interesting thing to me because, and I guess it's a little unexpected. It kind of popped out of nowhere. Although I'm talking in circles here, it, it isn't out of nowhere either. So hang in there. I'm going to get there. I swear. I promise. I don't like talking about real estate. I'm a real estate broker. Okay. And I imagine this is similar to, and I'm, you know, I'm not comparing myself to like an attorney, but like somebody, an attorney who's at a party doesn't want to answer your legal questions, right? You know, a, a, a physician doesn't want to talk about the sore you have on your arm and no, they just don't want to do that. Right. I kind of feel the same way. And I know people love talking about real estate and I'm grateful and I'm appreciative, but mostly I don't want to talk about it. I don't want it to define who I am. I don't want it to be everything that people know about me, right? Because there's so much more about me that's interesting besides the fact that I sell real estate. So I don't, I, you know, I often sort of get stuck in that, you know, oh, I don't want to talk about real estate. But so here's the thing. I'm showing houses this last week to clients and I'm working with new clients as I often am, but that process of getting to know people and how people are so different from each other is just incredible to me. I love it. And I love finding those ways to connect with people um, who are different. Like this couple and this client may react in one way to me interacting with them. Another client, totally different. They don't get it. They're, they don't laugh at my stupid jokes that I tell because that's not who they are. So I, I guess I'm just rambling to say I found joy in, I think, my ability to realize that I have to connect with different people in different ways this week. Um, and sometimes we want people to come to our table, right? We want them to sort of twist into pretzels to, to be the way we want them to be. And maybe that's life in general, right? That's just not the way it works. We have to, if we want people to accept us for who we are, we have to be able to accept them for who they are. So I don't know. I think that was a little bit unexpected for me. I kind of knew it in the back of my brain, but I was reminded this week and I'm super grateful for that. So that's my gratitude this week. I'm grateful that I have the ability to love and accept people for who they are in whatever space they're in. And I love that I can mold and adapt to them um, and appreciate who they are. So who's different than you? Who out there is someone who's not like you at all and you sometimes struggle trying to understand who they are and what they think and how they behave? Maybe that's on you, right? Maybe you have the solution to that problem. If you can find a way to, to relate to that person. So I don't know, go forward this week, see what you can do. And as always, love.